Remember Senator Turbin, Durbin of Illinois, who attacked our Marines and called them fascists and Nazis? Turbin Durbin has put forward a plan that would shackle the war on radical Muslim terrorists even more than Obama has done, and that's because he represents the largest Muslim district in America. He is, by all definitions, a quizzling senator. Here to discuss this on the Savage Nation is Ken Timmerman, Executive Director of the Foundation for Democracy in Iran. Ken Timmerman, welcome back to the Savage Nation. Uh, hi, Michael. Thanks for having me on again. Tell us what's happening with Turbin Durbin. Well, uh, here's the real problem, Michael, is that you've got a movement of political correctness in this country that refuses to acknowledge, number one, that we are at war, number two, who the enemy is, radical Islam, and number three, even worse, that this enemy has infiltrated the United States. Uh, they have infiltrated our national security apparatus. They have infiltrated law enforcement. They have infiltrated our political establishment. And I hate to add this, they have also infiltrated uh, the conservative movement. Uh, so I wanted to point out some of these things uh, in this particular article. I focus on uh, Senator Dick Durbin from Illinois, who is trying to keep uh, law enforcement and intelligence organizations here in the United States from teaching uh, our national security personnel about the enemy, about his ideology. I think this is a disgrace, and I think it's terribly dangerous. Why is Senator Durbin trying to prevent U.S. intelligence services from learning about the enemy? Well, what, what's his angle here? Is he being paid off? Well, what, what uh, Dick Durbin and others are trying to do is to pull training manuals and course material that mentions Islam, that talks about the ideology uh, propagated in the Quran about Sharia law, about the necessity in the obligation under Sharia law to uh, kill Jews, to kill anyone who does not agree to become a Muslim, compulsion in religion. Uh, you will hear a lot of so-called moderate Muslim, Muslims quote uh, passages in the Quran that say there will be no compulsion in religion. What they fail to tell you is that that passage uh, of moderation was abrogated later on after uh, Muhammad uh, went to Medina. And at that point, all of the passages that today have become the textbook for jihadi Islam, in other words, the murder of uh, non-Muslims, whether it be uh, Americans, whether it be Jews, whether it be Israelis, whether it be other Muslims who do not accept Sharia law, those passages are in the Quran, but in the later portions in Medina. That's what they refuse to teach today. Ken, how is the training curriculum for these agencies being put together? Well, you have people who are uh, legitimate experts in Islamic law. And I've got to tell you, Michael, I learned about Islamic law uh, not in the textbooks. I learned from a uh, Muslim ayatollah, a Shiite ayatollah, uh, who taught me about the Dar al-Harab, the house of war, versus the Dar al-Islam, the house of Islam. And he taught me, uh, this was you know more than 20 years ago, uh, uh, he was preaching against Ayat Ayatollah Khomeini of Iran, and he taught me that uh, basically there is a war between those who accept Sharia law and the doctrines of that are propagated in the Quran between those who are Muslim and those who are not Muslim. And uh, for for the uh, Muslims who accept this doctrine, and not all do, but it is Islamic doctrine. It is uh, the orthodoxy, if you wish, within Islam. Uh, they must, they have an obligation to go out and either convert non-Muslims, uh, offer them the opportunity of paying the jizya, a tax, uh, a protection tax, or kill them. Very simply. They have three choices. Yeah, well, what's been the result of this kind of soft approach in the past? Well, uh, we were attacked on 9-11 uh, in part because of this. We have to recognize the ideology of the enemy. Uh, when we went to war against Hitler, we taught our troops, we taught our people in law enforcement here in this country the ideology of Nazism. We taught them uh, Hitler's uh, uh, desire, his, his uh, dedication to exterminate Jews from all of Europe, indeed from the entire world. This was part of his ideology. Uh, Islam contains a very similar ideology. Not all Muslims agree with it. Not all Muslims accept it. In fact, most of them do not. Uh, and yet, the uh, Islamist who are at war with America, who attacked us on 9-11, do accept this. And this is the ideology we must teach to our law enforcement professionals and our intelligence community if we're going to have any hope of combating the enemy in the future. What is the latest on Durbin's plan? Does it look like it will succeed? Uh, it, so far, he is doing very well, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Dick Durbin carries a lot of sway in the Senate, which is still controlled uh, 
by the Democrats. And uh, Durbin is able to call hearings. He's able to uh, to uh, compel testimony. He's able to uh, compel uh, law enforcement agencies to uh, fire people, which is what has happened. They have fired uh, trainers who have been trying to teach law enforcement and intelligence professionals about the doctrines of um, Islamist law. How can we best learn what we need to about the, the true enemy within? Well, first, I thank you for mentioning my article at the Daily Caller. I've written a book about this. It's called Preachers of Hate, Islam, and the War in America. It was one of the first books after 9-11 to talk about the doctrines of uh, Islamist rule, uh, whether it be the Iranian flavor, the Saudi flavor, the Wahhabi flavor that gave us al-Qaeda. Uh, but we need to learn about that. Uh, Act for America, a group run by Brigitte Gabriel, a good friend of mine, has been uh, very active in this recently. They have a campaign, uh, an online petition, uh, to uh, try to uh, uh, weigh in with Senator Durbin to pull back this attempt to silence uh, those who would teach our law enforcement community and our intelligence community about the enemy. Um, I also have been working on this personally. I'm a candidate for Congress in the 8th District uh, in Maryland, and I talk about this at uh, campaign meetings. I think people need to understand uh, that we are facing a threat from Sharia law. We are facing what's called a civilization jihad uh, by uh, uh, Islamists who have infiltrated America, infiltrated our law enforcement and intelligence community, and they want to undermine the values that made this country great. They want to see this country destroyed. They want to see the Constitution replaced by the Quran. Now, well, what can the listeners, the people, do about this? Well, the first thing you can do uh, is go to this Act for America website where they have an online petition. You can sign up yourself. You can send a, a, a message to Dick Durbin uh, on the website. It's actforamerica.org. And I think that's a very important thing to do. If he gets flooded with tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of emails and petition signers, uh, he will have to take notice. I think that's an important uh, part of citizen uh, activism. Uh, you can also come and support me. I don't want to be self-serving here, but I am fighting this battle uh, on the front lines. I am opposed uh, by Chris Van Hollen, who is a, a big supporter of the Council of American Islamic Relations. Uh, he's been beating up on Israel since the first day he took office 10 years ago. Uh, and, and I'm trying to defeat him in November. I've got a real good chance to do so, but I need your support. Uh, I am uh, at TimmermanForCongress.com. That is my congressional website. My books are at KenTimmerman.com. Uh, I've been working on this for over 25 years, Michael. You've had me on many times to talk about this. But this is a threat that is simply not going to go away, and we as Americans have to stand up and fight against it. Ken Timmerman, thanks for being on The Savage Nation. Uh, thanks, Michael. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Uh, people who want to find out more about me can go to TimmermanForCongress.com. TimmermanForCongress.com. Thanks. This is Dr. Dissident Michael Savage back in a moment. Savage. <laughs> 